So the practical exam has started and I'd say it kicked off with a unexpected aggression which left Class 1A with Shinso on their team in shock due to them being hit with a surprise attack as soon as it began and this was only effective due to Class 1A team filled with Shisui, Kaminari, Koda and Kirishida learning about their new teammates for their exams Shinso's ability. I said 1A but you know he's part of the hero's team but yeah whatever. Now this is how Shinzo's ability works for those who do not know. First, he must focus his attention on the specific target he wants to brainwash and then think, I am going to brainwash them, which is almost to me as a beginning condition for his power to be activated, as though it is a permission to do so. But lastly, if the specific target answers back to Shinzo's voice as a form of reaction, then the brainwashing is complete. Although due to his inexperience in his quirk, which is what I personally believe, he is unable to make the person under the influence of his power to talk, which means he is unable to extract information out of them, but also cannot make the target that is brainwashed think when asked of a question individually to answer. His power so far comes across as quite basic and to be honest subpar when compared to the other groups of heroes but we all know that a trash quirk isn't really about the ability it really comes in how you are able to use it and other factors that come into play such as your fighting sense and experience like i said his power seems quite subpar when on paper but in this episode he was able to manipulate the situation quite early within the battle due to his voice changer which copied his enemy's voice which got Shishida to fall under Shinso's control for a brief moment. Just think about the reality of what that must have felt in battle as a shock and if it wasn't for how light of a shock of a hit was needed to wake Shishida up from the influence, the fight could have easily been won by Shinso's team right there and then. Honestly, down the line, further on into the battle, Shinso really did get into the heads of the enemy's team as due to him already being able to take the influence of Shishida once before earlier in the battle. The communication is what caused them to break down as a unit from the inside out. Shinso's ability was so effective and frightening to the opposition team that, quite frankly, their forces broke down into pieces, allowing Su to capture Rin, Shinso and Su to also put Shiozaki under the influence and Shishida to actually behave as such beast that he went and charged in without thinking or using his brain much causing him to get knocked out by Rin who was thrown at Shishida and didn't heed his warning to look out or even dodge. Shinso's ability fused with his fighting ability which is still in the beginning stage is definitely coming up as a threat and I can see that within this episode. Not only me though but Shishida and I'm sure the rest of the school can see how much of a possible cool hero Shinso could turn out to be. Shinso himself knows that he needs to be a better hero, not just for everyone else but mainly himself as a young hero who wants to go pro, as because he hadn't joined the hero class straight away he sees himself as behind the rest of the students but that's not true at all. Just like Sue said Shinso is really strong, it's just that right now he isn't at the level he would love to be at and that's understandable because when you want to be the best you can be you tend to look up at those who are also great at the field that they are at and want to catch up to them but to reach your highest potential you have to know where you are at but also push yourself in every chance you get to your limits to get closer to your dreams. It's been your boy Roos or Mr 36 and whether you're watching this in the morning, afternoon or even just listening to this. I hope you guys have a good day. I'm out. Peace.